So the Sony Xperia T has just been leaked on August 7th, 2012 and in this video I'm going to be talking about some photos, actually 35 photos that was leaked about the Xperia T um, from many different angles and also I'm going to go over the specs, the features, all kind, all sorts of things. We're going to go really in depth with this Xperia T in, in this video. So first, um, while you guys are looking at the photos, which should be playing right now, I'm going to be going over some specs. So first of all, it's going to have a 4.6 inch HD display. When they mean HD, it's probably not 1080p, it's probably going to be 720p HD. So which means a resolution of 1280 by 720, maybe even greater. So that's what I'm assuming. Um, there's one phone, I believe the LG phone, that has a 1080p display, but I don't see it being really necessary at this point. So I'm gonna just say that it's a 720p, but again, that's my speculation, and it's probably if if I get proven wrong, I would love that, but it's just I don't see it being a 1080p display. It's also gonna have a Snapdragon S4 processor. We're not sure what the clock speed is, and assuming it's gonna be a dual core processor, um, it's not as far as I know right now. It's not the Pro that many people are talking about. It's just a standard Snapdragon S4, uh, for example, that's in the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is also going to have one gigabyte of RAM, so it's a one gig lower than the Galaxy S3 for comparison. And it's also going to have 16 gigabytes of internal memory. But you don't have to worry because if 16 gig isn't enough for you, then you're also going to have a micro SD card slot, which is going to be a deciding factor for many of you because a lot of people I know love micro SD card slots. They like the ability to know that they could expand if they have to. They're not restricted by any specific uh, size requirement or any reasonable size requirement. Also, it's going to have a 13 megapixel sensor, megapixel, megapixel camera, sorry, uh, at the back. It's probably going to be one of Sony's Xmore R, and it's going to have all the features that you would expect in Sony smartphones, maybe on par with Xperia S or other smartphones. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one as well. You can see that there's a small flash under it, as if you're noticing on the pictures. And the last bit of spec information I wanted to point out was it's going to have NFC built right into it. This is also rumored to be unveiled on August 29th, but that's all we know as of right now. August 29th is when Sony's going to have their own event and apparently unveiled two brand new phones, and this Sony Xperia T is one of them. We don't know what the other phone is, but this is apparently going to be the new flagship device. Uh, we saw this on the roadmap that leaked way more, like in the early of 2012. We saw the roadmap and the Xperia Mint was, I think, set to come out in quarter 3 or quarter 4 of 2012. So apparently that's when it's going to come out, but it's going to be unveiled on August 29th. Or if not then, it's going to be unveiled probably at IFA in Berlin. That's a good time for Sony to be unveil their brand new smartphones. Um, now, uh, now that I talked to, talked about uh, the hardware side, let's move on to the software a bit. So let's quickly run over this. So it does have on-screen buttons. They're not capacitive. They're on-screen. So I'm assuming it's ice cream sandwich. I, I don't think it's up to, uh, up to Jelly Bean yet. I don't think it's Android 4.1. I think it's Android 4.0, maybe 0.3 or 0.4, somewhere around that. Um, but that's just what I'm assuming this is. Uh, also, it's, it, it has a bit of Sony's customization built right into it. It has a new multitasking menu. The widgets, it looked like the widgets a bit changed a bit, the way you put widgets on the screen. Things like that. It still has that transparency look and feel, or actually, I wouldn't know feel, but if it does, it, it's probably going to feel the same way as Xperia S. Um, but it seems very nice. It seems like it's not letting down the ice cream sandwich experience that Google intended. So we need just adding some brand new features to differentiate themselves from, for example, the Galaxy Nexus or like some other stock Android phone or even from other competitors like using TouchWiz or Sense or something like that. And arguably, many people agree that the Xperia UI or whatever Sony calls it, the NXT UI, is uh, a lot better than Sense UI or even TouchWiz. It's more transparent, it's more clean, organized, and doesn't really affect your ice cream sandwich experience. It, it, for the most part, it actually makes it better. It enhances your experience. It has a new music player as well, which I forgot to mention. And as far as the uh, actual look and feel, of course, I wouldn't know how it feels, um, but it seems to look a bit thicker than the Galaxy S3 for comparison, but it's probably going to be thinner than the Xperia S, or at least that's what I would hope. It also seems to have very thin bezels along the sides, but the bottom is very thick because it has that Xperia logo there, and at the top it has a very thin Sony logo, and the top bezel is also very thin. So the top and the sides are thin, the bottom looks to be a bit bigger, but it also has the capacitive uh, buttons there. Also the Xperia logo at the back, and it's weird because they still have that orb at the back uh, of the phone, above the Xperia logo. 
One thing I hate about this phone before we leave is the fact that it has a flab or open up slot. It's a piece of plastic that just opens up and under that, under that is where you'll find the micro SD card slot and the USB. So that's the USB port. So that's something I don't like. Uh, it's sad that Sony decided to do that, but hopefully it's a prototype and they might change in the final version. And if not, it's just a small thing in a big flagship phone, so I wouldn't really mind too much anyways. But the volume and the power button, the camera button, there. there's also a shutter button, I forgot to mention that, is in a different position. It's at the bottom right-hand side of the phone, so it's not what you would expect on the top right or, uh, I mean, top right or, or side, uh, top side of the phone. It's a bit different uh, than what you'd expect. It's more similar to the Nokia Lumia 900, if you know how that is. So I guess I'm going to have to conclude this video. It's going on a bit too long. Thank you for watching. If you're a Sony fan, if you're interested in anything related to Xperia news, whether it's Xperia T, any other, any other phone, like Xperia S, T, P, U, anything, I'm going to be covering it here here at Play Infinite. So definitely click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys join uh, Play Infinite. Definitely subscribe. I'll keep you guys posted on anything I hear about this Xperia Mint, Xperia T. Uh, any other future smartphone whenever this is announced the official information as well so stay tuned subscribe and leave your comments questions anything down below in the comment section and uh, also don't forget to give this video a quick thumbs up if you do if you don't mind uh, leaving it so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe peace